Welcome. In a previous video, I took a look at the standby power usage of an Amazon Echo Flex. In this video, I'll be taking a look at the standby usage of an Echo Dot. This is a third gen unit, and I'll put a link in the description of this hardware, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I have the Dot mounted in my Tuvrin enclosure, and I have it plugged into a kilowatt. And we look here, it has 120 volts. So I can go here, it's the power factor is 0.44, 60 hertz, 3.9 VA, 1.6 watts, and 0.03 amps. So if we go to the cost, we have $0 an hour, and this has been plugged in, I think, three hours maybe? And so it hasn't accumulated any cost yet. And this is set up for nine cents per kilowatt hour, which is around what I pay. Nothing per day. So we have one cent per week, six cents a month, and 78 cents a year. So this gave the exact same energy usage as the Echo Dot Flex. So as far as standby usage is concerned, the other one's really tiny and small, but they use the same amount of electricity in standby mode. Now I imagine this one could use more electricity if you're actually listening to music on it or something, but that's not a huge deal because you're actually getting something for what you're paying for the electricity. The idea behind standby power is that you're paying the money and you're not doing anything with it. It's just sitting there unused. So if you're factoring in your electrical usage and determining if you wanted to get a dot or a flex, it really that's not a big difference. You know, I would get this one if you want to listen to some music on it, get the flex if you don't want to listen to music on it, but you still want to be able to access uh, Alexa devices. And there we go, it triggered. Sorry, I don't know that one. Okay, so I'll, I'll finish this out here, I think. We can look here, and it was up for three hours, 10 minutes is the sample on that. So if I let this run for months, I'd potentially get a little bit more accurate sample, but this gives you a pretty good idea that it costs under a dollar a year to run one of these in standby. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.